Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your FPS and get better performance in all new the finals that has been dropped recently. Now, the playtest has a lot of bugs and FPS drop issues, so I'm going to be addressing all of them. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the compatibility settings and for that you need to search for the finals on your PC and simply click on open the file location. Now once you are in the game location, what you need to do is press the discovery.exe, right click on it and then go over to properties, go to compatibility and over here click on disable full screen optimizations as well as click on change high dpi settings, click on override high dpi scaling behavior and set this thing to application, simply click on ok and apply these settings. Step number two is the essential windows settings and for that you need to open up settings on your windows. Once you are here, click on the gaming part, go over to Xbox game bar and make sure to disable this. Xbox game bar consumes a lot of memory while running in the background and this will ultimately affect your gaming performance. Right after that, go back to gaming, go to game mode then click on game mode and make sure to enable this thing. Enabling game mode will turn off things running in the background that will give you better FPS. It also disables unwanted notification pop-ups disturbing you while you're playing the games. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply go over there, click on change default graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to use hardware acceleration on your PC to get better performance in your game. It will utilize your core GPU over then your processor and it will also reduce your input latency. Once you're done with that, go back to graphics, then click on the browse button and then go over to the installation location of the finals. Once you find it, simply click on add and add discovery.exe in this list. Now I've already added it, so I just need to find it. Now once you are here, simply go to options and then from let windows decide, set this thing to high performance and simply click on save. Once you're done with that, simply close your settings. And now let's move to step number three that is de-animating your windows. Windows by default has a ton of animations which reduces your FPS. Now for that you need to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows, select adjust for best performance and select show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. This will keep the look of your windows intact but it will disable all of the unnecessary tools and all of the unnecessary animations in the background. I'd also recommend you guys to go to advanced section and for processor scheduling, select programs over here. And then for virtual memory, click on change, click on custom size. And for initial size, set this thing to 1361. And the maximum size should be the half of your current installed memory. So for that, you need to search for system information on your PC. And my current installed physical memory is 32 GB. So for that, you need to open up calculator on your PC, select 32 over here and multiply it 1024. And you'll find in 32768. This is the total memory available for my PC in megabytes. Now, what you need to do is simply divide this thing by 2 and you'll get 16384. That is the maximum size over here that you need to set it in MBs right away. Now, you need to do it for your memory. If it is 16 GB for you, you need to multiply 16 with 1024 and you'll get 16384. Then you need to divide it by 2 and set 8192 as the maximum size. I hope you get this concept. This is really essential and applying virtual memory on your PC will get you better FPS since it uses paging to increase the memory's performance. Once you're done with that, simply click on OK and then simply click on Apply. Next step is using exit lag to fix all of your input latency as well as network issues. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of internet issues ping issues as well as high packet loss. You can simply download exit lag from the link in the description below and open it up. Now once the application opens up on the left hand side you'll find a list of over a thousand games to choose from. You can simply search for finals over here and select the nearest game region to you. That is for me it is Singapore 01 and as you guys can see I am getting around 53 milliseconds of ping. Simply click on apply routes and here comes the best part of exit lag. It tunnels your internet directly to the game servers without any third party hindrance that will get you much better performance and much lower ping. It also helps you to get rid of packet loss. It also offers you the tools section where you can go to FPS boost, enable the first, 
third, fourth, fifth, third last and last option and that will give you the best FPS possible in the game. So if you guys are looking for FPS boost with network boost, you can definitely go ahead and use exit lag in the long term. It is definitely worth it. Now, once again, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription plan to keep using it. But if exit lag really helps you out, you can always click the link in the description below and get monthly semi-annual or annual subscription for completely 10% off only from the link in the description below. So go and check that out. Next step is creating a restore point and it is also very important. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC, look for your local disk C or any drive which has the Windows logo and over here click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Simply click on OK, create and name it the finals just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip the restore point because, because if you want to restore every settings back to normal, you can do it using the restore point without any data loss. Next step is the finals FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this thing up and over here you will find in four simple folders. First one is the CPU optimization where you have the AMD and Intel optimization. Now this is a processor based optimization so you need to know which processor that you're using. For the same you can simply search for system information on your PC and then look over here for processor. For me it is an AMD processor so I need to run the AMD CPU prior but if you guys have an Intel processor, you can run the Intel CPU priority as well. Then you have RAM optimization and I have 32 GB RAM on my PC as we have said earlier. It could be different for you so you can always find that in system information as well. You need to run the RAM optimization file from the presets I have given over here. Now once again if you don't like that, you can always reset it to default straight away. Third one is the windows optimization tweaks and over here you will find a ton of registries. Don't worry, these registries are completely safe and also optional. If you guys see any improvements just from above mentioned registries, you can choose not to do them. But if you guys want maximum performance, I would definitely recommend you guys to use all of these registries. So if you use them and you don't like the performance, you can revert each one individually back from these parts over here. And lastly is the finals priority. And this is a super important thing. You need to run this over here and that will increase the priority that your computer gives to the final. Over here, that will get you much better FPS and it will reduce all of your micro stuttering as well as FPS drops straight away. Now lastly is the best in game settings and for that I'd recommend you guys to open up your game and drop into the best settings. Okay, so once you're in your game, what you need to do is press your escape key and then go over to settings. Then go all the way to the right side where you will find video. Now once you're here, make sure that your window mode is set to full screen, resolution is set to 1920 by 1080 or your native resolution. Then VSync should be turned off, Nvidia Reflex Low Latency on plus boost, Resolution scaling method. For me, DLSS works best in this game, but you can also try AMD FSR 2 on performance. I am currently using DLSS on performance and that is giving me the best FPS. FOV should be max, motion blur disabled, lens distortion disabled, Nvidia RTX global illumination. This is the major part. You want to keep it static. For overall quality level, go with low and that is going to be setting all of the settings back to low. And once you're done with that, you are good to go and get the best FPS possible in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. Also, do check out my other videos on different topics as well. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.